Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and what's this? That's right, another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as Cote d'Ivoire. So we're starting to get our economy on the run here. Starting to get things going. We still have some issues with, you know, power. Um, that'll be an issue that we're going to basically have to take our time with. Growing in a country that's like this, a smaller one, will take time. Um, I'm going to build seven more engineers. There we go. We are doing trade and stuff like that with West Germany. Um, actually, not anymore. Actually, do I need the industrial goods? Uh, yeah, I do. I'm going to buy them. Actually, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to let the AI... What's the current market price? 22. So I'm going to lower you down. I'm going to set the market price for what I want to buy my industrial goods at. 22, 127. I wish you could just click it. There we'll say 2364. I um, wouldn't mind you buying around around 300,000. And spend up to This will all go down as I buy. About $2.6 billion worth of. So the most I want you to buy it for is this. That's the amount I want you to buy. And that's how much I'm willing for you to spend. So. Look at that. Boom. We're done. Um, people are trying to sell me rubber. I don't have a shortage of it. These facilities here are going to be done in 18 days. So I'm not all that concerned about my rubber production. Because right now I have how many days left? I have 28 days left. If we just leave it as is. And like I said, these guys are done in 13. Theoretically 13. That just went down to 10. So I mean... Five days, maybe. Ooh, back is a little sore today. Oh, yeah, look at that. So basically two days left. You should bring it to three. Yep, then the next one will bring it down to one. Then we'll look at how much our production for rubber is. Zero. zero days remaining. There you go. We have zero days remaining on this construction. <laughs> and there we go. We're now producing 500. So we're not producing more than we need. Construction. You guys are going to come back down over here. Uh, do I need to with, do I deploy any more engineers? I do. Construction. There, please. I'm also going to change the current... Deployment location to there. This is a lot easier. New alliance between Kenya and Mozambique. So countries over there. So right now our big money losers is electric power. We need 32 power. We're currently producing nine. Theoretically, if I did another six, that bring me to 14 that way. It would, it would cost me a little less. That's good, but I'd be making a little bit more money. But speaking of more money, where are we sitting here? Our 2.2% inflation. There we go. What's our unemployment? 6.2%. Oh, yeah. We're laughing. Okay. 281. How quickly is this going down here? Yeah, two days. So theoretically, we're looking at half that. So we're looking at around 130 something, 140 something days. I will. Oh, no, I can't look that up. Okay. Month of no. 
Oh, I wanted to start making friends with North Carolina. Free for labor force, criminal extradition, free trade, line of sight, non-aggression. Nice. We don't want anything in here that could cause me to go to war, though. Oh, nice. You just agreed. Perfect. Um... So you're 65 days and you're motorized engineers. So it'll be 10 extra days. And you're 60. Pfft. Talk about advanced. A uh, bull pup will be something I can everyone researches. Uh, 18 million. There we go. I don't I don't want a bond. Did you say Well, oh, what just happened? Texas declared war on Mexico. That would be a little interest. Oh, they're going to have all that oil. It's actually not a bad move for Texas. Um, Did you say yes to that arrangement? You did. Uh-oh. My options. Show obsolete units. Yeah, I bought crap. Wait, how are you obsolete? You're actually better. Four, three. That's weird. Wait a second. So I'm offering you two outdated engineers for the Pioneer. And you agreed. Thank you. So now, yeah, we're gonna immediately cancel all you and say six of you. I don't know whether that was a good trade or a bad trade. I think it was a bad trade because I was offering, I think, $40 million worth of tech. So this does give me the ability to start building stuff a little bit quicker. Um, I also want to build another military goods facility, too. Um... Come back down here. Country will get to a point where a lot of this stuff will be super easy. Oh, well, perfect. Construction there, please. Hello, all you guys. Construction there. Build military land production. Boom. So you guys will be there. You guys will be there. Oh, that's right. I need my need military goods. Um, if you're about to 133 tons, there. That's more than enough.
Well, that's because I just bought a whole bunch of military goods. Okay. You're getting done pretty quick. 190 days. So we're like, I want 18, half of, half of 180 is 90. So we're looking at around 90 days until that's finally done. Let's see, I don't want to buy metal ore. So our big deficits in this case are coal and uranium and power. Building some dams is going to be an idea early on. But if we can get to... How much longer do you have? You have 31 days, so you have a month. And then you should be the next research. So... And then you're theoretically anywhere from two months to... To like 11 months away. Not 11 months. 10 months away. That will tick down though. And that changes depending on how much money we spend. So we'll have to remember that. In the meantime, facility, 11 days. Wow. Okay. That actually is going a lot faster than I thought it would. Cause then we'll start getting it. We'll basically double our military production in this case, which is definitely good. Cause then every 60 days we'll be pumping out units. I thought that was the percentage of how much it was built there for a second. 166. There we go. And once that ticks over to midnight, that will be that. There we go. We're now producing two. And come up here and do construction. So right now, yeah. So right now we're losing two, two days remaining. So we're not going to have two days for every day of construction, which isn't too bad. And we're about to, well, not quite double our uh, engineers, but five, eh, we're going to go by about 125%. We'll see how many days that takes off. That will obviously affect it faster, which is, I mean, the main thing, right? We want to get that done and out of the way and over. Because I feel like this is holding me back. Because once I can extract more oil, I can then build more oil or more power production. Because we don't need the oil, really. Because a lot of our military units are going to be in reserve. I will, once I start producing oil on a mass scale, my other plan is going to be to basically take over the oil industry. Um, kind of like uh, Petro Canada here in Canada back in the day. And basically turn into a, almost like a crown corporation like i have my industrial goods and i will control everything when it comes to that speaking of we're not selling anything right yeah so i'm already going to order the basically the stopping of any sales of oil as of now just so i can stockpile it to make sure we're good yeah so we're knocking off two days will this bump it to three now perfect it's probably two three it wouldn't be three four but it'd be two three yep three perfect new york and ontario have uh, really it's because i always figure that like playing as new york i'd want to take ontario because then you almost cut the continent off and then you just build up some nice defenses here here and then kind of here-ish and just go east take everybody out and then you can just kind of go west because you can bifurcate the country pretty good now another way to do it as ontario is to go after michigan and go after wisconsin go after illinois get kentucky get tennessee and then get mississippi and then well maybe louise oh actually how does the oh yeah the battle battle zones um boom theoretically you could then take 
Louisiana and just release northern Louisiana. Because the plan here would be to take everything east of the Mississippi. Because the Mississippi in the game starts obviously down here and then goes all the way up to here. Um, I'm not too sure if there actually is if it connects all the way or if it's just narrow river yeah so you build fortifications there fortifications along roadways and stuff like that all the way south and then all the way down to here so what are you South Carolina, interesting. Look at the South Carolina flag. It looks interesting. Um, and then, yeah, what you do is you build up uh, basically here along the Wisconsin and the uh, the Michigan border. And then you just basically build up a nice defensive position along your lakes and rivers here. And you're you're pretty good to go at that point. And then you just head east. And use all your manpower to take... I'm actually using my hands to show this. Basically, just take everyone, everything east of the Mississippi, fortify the Mississippi, and you're you're good to go. Because then you'll have control of the Gulf, um, or at least a nice big chunk of it. You'll have control of good areas. Then you can just move down here, take over the, um, the Caribbean. And then what you can do with taking over the Caribbean is start moving around um, military units. And basically block off a lot of the countries in here and uh, to get out. And that reminds me. The UN is in this game. keep forgetting about that i was gonna say hey options don't show obsolete units anymore i think they still need to agree to those terms Nope, that's an obsolete unit as well. Good to know. Actually, well, let's do that. There we go. Wait, did I say one day? 16 days, okay. Uh, that also tells me that we have, yep, another one in reserve. Oklahoma and California. So the Americas are starting to do their little split. Oh, look at that. 37 days. We have a month until those two reasons. What Once you get your, your research snowballing, then it's just a matter of time. So I need to get my research up and going so that I actually buy basically armor. Like, even some good infantry fighting vehicles wouldn't be bad. Like being able to basically build, maybe just build some marines wouldn't be too bad. So it's funny because a lot of the units that we would classify as good are now obsolete. So yeah. Because it's 1920, it's 2021. No. So you, you do take five extra days. You know what? For me, that's worth it. I'm just going to turn.
that off for now. 10 days, and then we start researching all this stuff. Oh, you're going to be done in five. Well, look at that. Like, <laughs> So we're going to be able to dock in orbit two separate things, but we won't be able to extract petroleum out of the, out of the ground. Ugh. That's just funny. There we go. We're now doing improved engines and underwater petroleum. Okay, I like that. Okay, so it gives oil derricks. Now, having some transport aircraft, uh, helicopters actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Um... Carolinas, being that you have some relations with. Okay, so you do have transport, but you only have trans. Figure that, you know, like North Carolina would be a big USMC fan. So we have about three months until we can actually extract oil. Um, in the meantime, you know what we're gonna do? Um, actually, I'm going to highlight all of you and say do construction there. Iran declared war on Israel. I want you to build one single industrial goods facility. Por favor. 80 days. Which means... Well, actually, no, because that will be different. What is it now? Yeah, 77. So we're knocking off, what, three days uh, three days a day? So we're looking at, what, 15 days, 20 days? Now it's two days? So this is, a, is this a 2-3 situation? Because they're knocked off three. It also could be... Oh, it's three again. Okay. So theoretically, we're looking at uh, what? Three divided by 60, 11 days? No. All right. Math hard. Well, I'm in Arkansas or Arkansas. Um. I'm assuming that was just a. Uh, yeah, okay. We're good there. Um, four. Okay, so that that shouldn't be too long to be done. Um, we're only producing seven thousand barrels extra a day. Stop it. No, don't take it out of bond. There we go. Um, please tell me I can get the Panzer Pizza 2000 from you. I think I got it. Wow, twelve billion dollars for a fighter. Don't think so. 
Um, do, 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 do. But I got it. This artillery piece of artillery alone is going to be amazing. Uh, I'm going to deploy you. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our little bit of, I guess you can say our spying. Uh, I'm actually going to order you to there. I'm going to pause and say I want you to air patrol from there to there. And whenever you need fuel, you can just go back to the airport. So it gives me an idea. They have a lot of anti-aircraft guns. They have a Walker Bulldog. V200. I think I remember that from... Uh, I can't remember that. It was Armored Warfare is the game I used to play, where I used to play as the V500. I used to love it. V200. I used to love it. Um... Perfect. You're good to go. So what is the issue? You need electric power and coal. It'll probably take a tick or two for the game to catch up and for us to start buying the power we need. There we go. So we're now producing just a little bit more than we need, which is fine. Well, so what is the main drawback here? Are we is there mostly our thing? Yeah, coal, metal, and power. Okay. Um Order everyone over there. I have an airport there. Nice. Okay. Oh, what's up here? So wait, is that the S? Their military units are on the move. Okay. So I don't think I have the capabilities at the moment. Five point nine billion for two uh, boxer and a, two boxer uh, uh, fighting vehicles, a puma and a leopard, two a six. Come on, Germany, don't deploy any of those for me. Yeah, buddy. Really. China capitulated. Or Northern China. Wow. Okay, so I have it set up s I'm pretty sure that units want on a country that fall apart. Just so countries don't snowball on me. Um, any country that falls, their units will be immediately eliminated as if like the army dissolved. Just because I found it would be significantly unfair uh, going to reserve and repair. Okay, so I have, theoretically, better ground units than you do now. Yeah, plan is to just... I want that extra pound zero pizza 2000, please. You only have a supply truck in reserve. Perfect. Belgium slash Luxembourg and Switzerland. Oh, nearly. I got the extra pounds of pizza 2000. Let's 
can't afford aircraft. The Huey doesn't pull enough. It's only 72 tons. My engineers... is 284 tons. So I couldn't air lift any of my uh, any of my guys. Hmm. I mean, I do want to take everything east. So there's the new battle zone options in the game. So I'm planning, theoretically, on going to war with Liberia and taking everything east. Uh, basically everything in this battle zone. I want to take from them now. And then, you know, they can have whatever's left over. There's a little bit of rubber, a lot of rubber production there, but I don't really need that right now. Um, Ghana, I'm going to do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this game a little... Um, how can I put this? I'm going to annex countries. I want to take territories and annex them. Like, I want to be like, hey, there are people in this, and you know, I only want a little section of each country at a time. In conjunction, um, I'm also, um, uh, hit that button. We're going to, uh, I can leave line of sight on. Um, I also... I'm going to get involved in this war down the road, probably, if Korea keeps beating up on everybody. My plan will be, theoretically, to liberate all the countries that Korea has now taken. Since no one else is going to get involved in that war, it looks like. But that's my plan. I'm going to get involved in it. I'm going to deploy troops, and I'm going to liberate those nations. I'm not going to colonize them. I'm not going to annex them. I will just release nations to their loyalties once the war and, uh, and the conflict is over. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys in uh, the next video. Bye-bye.